Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Brandon Hodge vlog. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the video. Brandon Hodge here, your king of vlog style. And welcome back to another WrestleMania vlog. This is my third one so far. Today, uh, I am actually going to be going to the WrestleMania Superstore. That's the, the highlight of today. As well as I'm actually going to check out the uh, the Florida Aquarium is what it's called. If you haven't checked out the other two vlogs, do that after you watch this vlog in its entirety. So ladies and gentlemen, what I'm doing right now is the Florida Aquarium in Tampa, Florida. So here we go. Okay, I'm back here at the Florida Aquarium. I was here three years ago, so hopefully it's changed a little bit. So they actually have a WWE Championship here at the Aquarium. That is something I wasn't expecting to see here at the Aquarium. It's actually signed by Titus on the paper back there. I just walk up the escalator and it's like, hey, WWE Championship right here. So yeah, that was something random I wasn't expecting to see in a, at a fish aquarium. All of this is sea trash they found and they made stuff out of. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm now leaving the Florida Aquarium. It gets a thumbs up, still good three years later. So now it's time to actually do something a little wrestling related today. I'm gonna go over to the Raymond James Stadium, the host venue of WrestleMania 37. They actually have a superstore set up, a mini superstore, team store, whatever. They converted the Bucks team store into the WrestleMania store. Uh, so I'm gonna go over there and see what kind of merchandise they have. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't spend all my money. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I came here to Raymond James Stadium. You can see it right there. Um, I came to the WrestleMania Superstore. That's what I'm here for, but the parking lot's actually full over there. So there's like a thousand people here and I'm not exactly sure why, but we'll find out, I guess. Teddy bears. How much are the teddy bears? Teddy bears are $25. Got the mugs. These are only five bucks. These are 30. 30 dollars for those. Funko Pops. Got the new ones. They have Edge. They have Edge. They have all the new Funko Pops. Oh, they actually have the Fiend here. How much yeah, do they want? Yeah, but it's not the Amazon. It's not the Amazon exclusive. exclusive. It's the. They have snapback hats. Pretty much everything you'd want. Shirts, all kinds of stuff. Replica titles over there. Actual figures. You got face masks. And replica titles here. Oh, 
They have the custom ones here, the ones that are like a thousand bucks each. Oh god, it comes with a huge thing. I didn't realize it was that big. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just now leaving the WrestleMania Superstore. I spent $100 in there. I saw some people buying like $500 to $1,000 worth of stuff. Just not in my budget for this trip. I'm staying a week in Florida, which can get quite pricey, but I did I did get some cool stuff in the Superstore. You have to say, and I'll show you when I get back to the house here in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, I just now got back home here to the place I'm running here in Tampa, Florida from the WrestleMania Superstore. Uh, so I went out to Raymond James Stadium a lot farther than I was thinking. It's only 20 miles, right? 20 miles, but it took 45 minutes to get out there and it was just so much traffic. I didn't realize I had to go through downtown to get there. It's just a crazy thing. If I, if I knew I had to go through all that just to go to the Superstore, I probably just would have waited until like the day of WrestleMania and got merch there. Uh, but it's the WrestleMania Superstore, kind of. You don't really want to call it that. Like this year's WrestleMania is downscaled so much from previous years just because they're not having like a lot of fans there. So there's not like exclusive items or like crazy memorabilia or things like that, like normal. Like it's just like the standard merchandise items like t-shirts, replica belts, hats, Pops, figures, is that kind of stuff. But I did get a few things there. Actually spent $107. Uh, so here are the items I actually picked up at the WrestleMania Superstore. So this one is Michelle's shirt. But I guess I'm gonna have to get mom because she refuses to share this amazing shirt with me. It's no, the Fiend and fine. the Viper Randy Orton kind of mix up. That's just crazy and it looks even better in person. Uh, the shirt I got for myself is this one. The official WrestleMania event shirt. It has the WrestleMania poster on it. And on the back it says, uh, I was there. I guess. Yes, so they kind of switched it up this year. 2021, Tampa Bay, Florida. Uh, also, uh, we got this, and she, she did agree to share the snapback hat with me. I yeah. will say, it says uh, Tampa Bay WrestleMania. kind of reminds me of like a Bella Twins hat, so I don't know if I'm going to end up wearing this thing or not, but it is, it is cool. Charged $25 for this. These shirts were $35 each. And the final thing we just picked up on the way out because it was just so cheap, five bucks. Now, this is a reasonably priced item. $35 for a t-shirt is not reasonably priced. $25 for a hat, eh, but a $5 for a souvenir cup is definitely, definitely reasonable. And here's actually my receipt for everything. $25 for the snapback hat, $35 for a shirt, $35 for a shirt, $5 for a event cup, total $107. Now that's still a lot of freaking money, but it's a lot better than uh, than other people did in the Superstore. I saw other people check it out. It was like $250, $300. People who got replica belts, I saw them get like close to a thousand bucks. I know some like friends of mine who go to like WrestleMania, they'll put a budget just for wrestling merchandise. It's like a thousand bucks. It's just kind of mind-blowing, but some people, they just love the stuff and they love paying full price for it, I guess. So there you guys have it. That was actually my third WrestleMania week vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Tomorrow is going to be very interesting because tomorrow is actually day one of a WrestleMania, the official WrestleMania show vlog. And this year I get to do two of them instead of just one. So that's going to be going to be interesting. So tomorrow, don't miss it. It will be a WrestleMania 37 day one vlog. So I'm very excited to do that for you guys. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog nonetheless. Right now on the screen, I'm going to leave a link to two previous videos for you guys to check out, as well as a button to subscribe to this channel if you're brand new here. But thank you guys for watching this video. I am Brandon Hodge, and I will see you guys in the next video.